Now, a jury finds former Minneapolis policeman Derek Chauvin guilty of second-degree murder, third-degree murder, and manslaughter over the death of George Floyd. This was a reaction outside the courtroom and at the Floyd family home as the verdict came in. <laughs> Well, the jury deliberated for about 10 hours over the killing that sparked national outrage and triggered worldwide protests. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris welcomed the verdict. This can be a giant step forward in the march toward justice in America. Let's also be clear that such a verdict is also much too rare. We still have work to do. We still must reform the system. This bill is part of George Floyd's legacy. The President and I will continue to urge the Senate to pass this legislation, not as a panacea for every problem, but as a start. Well, joining us now is Bloomberg's Renita Young. Renita, um, good morning to you. What does this verdict actually mean in terms of the U.S. grappling with racism? Good morning to you. And it is movement. So many people who've talked about this verdict have talked about how it's a long, it's a huge step forward. But the work is just beginning. As we've just heard with the president and vice president, there is legislation out in police reform. So we can expect to hear a lot about that in the coming days. Renita, which companies have actually already spoken out? Well, last night, Ben and Jerry's, who's been very vocal on racial justice in the past years, really, not just last year, they've already spoken out saying that justice requires accountability, but accountability alone must not be confused with justice. And we've also seen Sephora speak out, and Sephora echoed the similar sentiment, saying that we know there is more work to be done to make equality and justice the reality for all people. Renita, you also spoke to an expert who advises companies on this. What did he say with, in regards to how companies should actually approach the verdict? I did. I spoke with Joshua Dubois. He is the CEO of Gage.ai, and that's a company based here in America that's helped companies like Sephora, by the way. Sephora is one of their clients to do this. He said that companies should approach this in the best way that they know how to and that they should not reach to make a response based on any other company's way. So he helped Sephora create a very unique way to respond last year in only a way that they would. And he suggests that other companies do the same. Renita, thank you so much. Renita Young there in New York.